What is up, best ones worldwide? It's the best one, DBTV here, back with a brand new video. This is going to be just straight, uncut, unedited. Just going to say what I got to say, do this all in one take. If you're not a best one yet, and you're, you're probably a Brooklyn Nets fan or, you know, a Celtics fan watching this right now, hit that subscribe button now, turn on the post notifications. <laughs> it's so hard doing this right now because I'm just going to be straight up here. I am lost with words right now with this series. I really did not think the Celtics had what it takes to beat this Nets team, but wow, I was wrong. And a lot of that, man, has to do with the Celtics head coach, who was actually the assistant coach for the Brooklyn Nets in the last season with Nash, and it's crazy how fucking Steve Nash still has his job over this guy who literally has changed the culture for the Boston Celtics and made Marcus Smart a defensive player of the fucking year. <laughs> they really stopped KD, and this is crazy because we've never seen this ever happen before in KD's career. Nobody has been able to stop KD until literally game one and two. It's crazy. It's like our assistant coach, Iman, whatever his last name is, literally stole the Krusty Krab formula from Steve Nash, and now the Celtics are about to be a friggin' championship team. I am so freaking disappointed in this Brooklyn Nets team. And everyone's going to point fingers and blame KD's poor performance. And they're going to blame Kyrie's poor performance and that whole Ramadan thing. That has nothing to do with us losing these two games. I'm sorry to tell you this. The truth is, Steve Nash is the reason why we've lost these two games, all right? There's no excuses to this. The rotations are absolutely horrible. Literally, we scored, I think, for only, like, for about 10 minutes in the last fucking quarter. The fourth quarter, the quarter that matters the most. We scored four fucking points in 10 minutes. Yet, we drafted Cam Thomas with the 27th pick overall in the draft. Yet, he's just sitting on the bench watching all these friggin' bricks happen and watching all these friggin' players get exposed by this defense. Cam Thomas can create his own shot! We've not, Yes, he's a rookie. He has not played in the playoffs. But still, he's better. it's better to put him out there than fucking Patty Mills, who's friggin' off right now. And then Drummond can't even grab a fucking rebound for his life. I see why he got that friggin' cheap contract by the 76ers in the offseason. And Claxton, he's struggling friggin' down low. There's no excuses to this whatsoever. What needs to happen, Steve Nash has got to go. Because we have Blake Griffin and Aldrich who can play the four or the five. And clearly what we need is a power forward. Because why is it that Al Horford, who is playing at the four, the power forward position, is going off back-to-back -back games? Why is it the fact that freaking Grant Williams was 100% for field goal, three-pointers, free throws, and he went off tonight. Because they're power forwards! And the Brooklyn Nets, they want to put freaking Dragic, Mills, and Kyrie out there at the same time. They want to keep putting freaking Curry, Seth Curry, Mills, Dragic... It's, it's always a combination with the three freaking guards who should definitely be playing point guard or shooting guard. None of those guys, including Kyrie, should be a small forward. Bruce Brown did show up tonight, though. I will give Bruce Brown lots of credit for trying. Dragic did as well. And then look at what happened in the third quarter. Steve Nash did not put Dragic out there until the last two minutes of the third quarter. When this man was hot in the second quarter. 
at the end of the day, I already know the typical basketball fans who really don't pay attention to the games and they only look at the stats with the turnovers and crap, they're going to keep pointing fingers and blaming Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving for this when the truth is Steve Nash was a phenomenal player, don't get me wrong, one of the best friggin' point guards in the league when he played. Hall of Famer. But this man does not know how to fucking coach a basketball team. And that is why I have started this trend. Hashtag fire Steve Nash. Get that trending, Brooklyn Net fans. I repeat, hashtag fire Steve Nash. Because there's no way that this should be happening. There's really no freaking way this should be happening. And a lot of people are going to be like, well, you freaking should have never got rid of James Harden. The problem is Steve Nash. James Harden, damn, I really was pissed off about that man leaving, but <laughs> the more freaking Steve Nash is coaching, the more... <laughs> Oh, God, the more I can't even be mad at James Harden for wanting out. He did say one of his reasons was because of Steve Nash's rotations, which if you've been paying attention to Steve Nash's friggin' rotations this playoff series, it's been dog shit. Literally dog shit. <laughs> oh, my God. It's sad. It's sad, and, like, I can't even be mad at James Harden for friggin' wanting out. <laughs> That's why this offseason, Sean Marks, you have not done any of us Brooklyn Net fans wrong since you've gotten this job from friggin' Billy King. And if there's one man I am trusting more than anybody, it's you, Sean Marks. And please, for, <laughs> for the us Brooklyn Net fans, please, for Kyrie and Kevin Durant, and for, like, guys like Bruce Brown who bust their ass, please do us all a favor and get Steve Nash the fuck out of Brooklyn. Bring his back, his ass back to freaking Phoenix. I don't even care anymore. Steve Nash has got to go. Hashtag fire Steve Nash. And I don't know. I feel like this series is over unless some miracle or something happens. The Celtics friggin' head coach who was assistant for the Nets literally stole the secret formula from Steve Nash. <laughs> like Plainton. <laughs> Except Plainton failed at stealing the recipe. But the Celtics head coach, he definitely um stole it. For sure. But um, yeah, I say, you know, we fire Steve Nash. And man, this Celtics team is no fucking joke. And I will say this. As long as it's not Philadelphia 76ers or friggin' Milwaukee Bucks, I'm happy. <sighs> Hopefully some type of miracle happens. Because at this point, the only thing I can think of is Ben Simmons coming back. But defensively, Simmons is really good, but still doesn't really help about Steve Nash's friggin' rotations. Like, I can't even imagine what this man's gonna do when Simmons is out there. He's probably gonna end up putting all for five players that are gonna be out there with Simmons are probably gonna be players that can't even shoot the fucking three-pointer shot. Wouldn't be freaking surprised. <sighs> it's very disappointing. Brooklyn Nets Nation. Hopefully, you guys need to, like, really get me motivated here because I really feel like there's no hope at all. And I really gave Steve Nash the benefit of the doubt when we got rid of James Johnson. Like, literally, James Johnson was playing 31 minutes a game with Steve Nash out there, and he was doing complete dog shit. And then we got rid of the guy, and then we started winning, and now we're struggling again because now he decides to put fucking three guards out at the same time against the fucking Celtics team that has length and size. Hashtag fire Steve Nash. Peace.